Hello and welcome back to the channel. We have a very special and interesting video lined up for you today where we are reviewing a 2016 Mini Cooper S2 door. This little car has a 2 litre twin turbo 4 cylinder engine with 197 brake horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. This means this car does not 62 in around 6 seconds. So, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, the tail lights on this Mini are fairly normal. However, on the facelift 2020 version, they are off the British flag. But, I can't say I'm missing them because these don't look half bad. You get aluminium cover for the fuel cap. It's nice you get some nice sporty wheels as well also this car looks especially good in this contrasting blue and black colors and you've got the s badging there it's nice and again those classic round mini headlights a first glance and look at the mini from the front the bonus scoop and the bulges make it look like a very like sort of a muscle car but get closer you can see it's all for show as these are fake here we are where the magic happens a two litre twin turbo bmw engine and well this guy's in good condition let's hear it let's hear what it sounds like when you start it up again definitely a nice sound at the back to listen to the exhaust sound of the twin exhaust in the middle so let's hear them it's a very nice sound for a two liter turbocharged engine very nice i'm impressed also at the back get this nice thing on uh, i don't know if it does anything for the performance but it does definitely add to the looks also as i mentioned earlier the twin exhaust in the middle definitely a unique look also you get aluminium cover for your fuel door I mean it looks like aluminium it's not but hey that's a secret and it does look cool okay so for initial light numbers the boot may not sound big at 211 liters but you can get a lot of stuff as you can see in my friend's big head helmet and his sort of very, well, medium sized super dry bag and there's still room in there for a few other things such as soft swash bags or one small carry-on suitcase so there's no way i would fit into those seats so my friend the owner of this car has kindly uh got in to show you and even though he's not a very tall guy he's still struggling for room so you're better off with the five door car so we start with the infotainment screen and Mini is owned by BMW so it benefits from BMW technology as you can see it's quite slick and fast and very bright and it's used uh, controlled by this iDrive well, I drive controller there like BMW which is shortcut button so you can press menu and stuff like that and go straight to radio to see and this screen uh, this is the main screen so you have a lot of options here so you can go in telephone and stuff and if you want trip computer on the central screen you go into their vehicle info and you have a lot of stuff and then chip computer obviously and well as you can see 34 miles per gallon for this car that's quite good especially since considering this car likes to be driven fast and the driver does drive it fast but that is still a good figure this being the Cooper S it has a special mode which shows how much power and torque so if I rev it shows how much torque I'm using obviously as it's not driving there's no power but that again is a cool feature the main highlight of the mini are these sort of unique switches that I mean they look very high quality and they are high quality and uh, you don't find them in any other car especially this price point this car uh, when bought was around 13,000 pounds and this is quite good for that so another point if you change the temperature like that it tells you around the digital screen where you're going so if you're going hot it goes red and cooler it goes blue cool feature for a car at this price point is ambient lighting so you press that and the car 
those different colors and it's in the uh, central screen it's in the foot wells and in the door handles and this gives the car a sort of more luxurious feel than competitors so you change the car the car has adapted drive modes and you change them from this flick here so if you're going to eco it says low consumption driving fun nice you go into normal mid mode it says typical mini driving fun going to sport it's called sport mode it goes maximum go kart feel and i can tell you the way i'm sitting and the view out there with the like creases in the bonnet it is it does feel like a go kart and it feels actually like a much bigger car at the same time the quality while it's a small car uh, you only get a couple of cup holders at the front uh, soft storage could be there and well you can see for yourself it's not that big the glove box also the air vents as you can see are round and it gives the car and again a unique look and soft carbon fiber type of trim here again this raises the sportiness as it's meant it is the Cooper S so it's a sporty model so overall the quality of the materials in this car is quite good soft to the touch not really like it doesn't move about just this bit is a bit wobbly but like, that's to be expected also place where you put your arm is soft to the touch so your arm is nice and comfortable and overall this car has really impressed me this quality especially for a car at this price window switches are also made of this nice material and it feels nice and weighted to the touch so overall the quality of the materials in this car is quite good soft to the touch not really like it doesn't move about just this bit is a bit wobbly but like, that's to be expected also place where you put your arm is soft to the touch so your arm is nice and comfortable and overall this car has really impressed me this quality especially for a car at this price also this car as standard as this Cooper S comes with Harman Kardon speakers that sound amazing This being the Mini, have a listen to the horn. Yeah, that's much better than Toyota. And again, Minis. Start the car, just press this red fight jet style button. The car starts up. So if you rev the car, you get a nice sound. Yeah. Initially, it does feel like it has a soft limiter, but it doesn't. Don't make that mistake, like I did. Keeping with the Mini theme, Mini is meant to be a cute and cuddly car. <laughs> From the door mirrors, you can see, they're trying to be cute and cuddly, as with the air vents, as with the door handles. Also, the windows are frameless windows, both front and rear, which is, well, quite good for a car of this price point. This car doesn't have the standard Cooper S steering wheel, instead it has the high level John Cooper Works steering wheel. Now let's talk about the central speedo and uh, rev counter. So in the new Mini this is all digital but for now you have this little digital part and you can switch around and see your like miles per gallon and your temperature and things like that. Uh, now as you can see this car has done 58,000 miles and for that it's still in reasonably good condition another cool feature is this now this is separate from the rest of the stuff but and that again gives the car a very very unique look first impressions in the passenger seat of the mini well that exhaust note is really really entertaining in here and it doesn't intrude uh, intrude into your like comfort levels also i mean the ride well you have got some cupboard road here and the ride isn't that good it's quite harsh but I mean you forgive it for the way the car drives so we're on fast road here and again this car is comfortable and the owner tells me he could bear it for a couple of hours but after that 
it does get on your nerves and on your um, backside a little bit but um, for shorter journeys it's definitely worth it it's meant to do 0 to 60 in around six seconds so we're gonna go do a little test of it now go relatively comfortable through that so that is the 2016 mini cooper s and i only have this to say what an amazing car if you are looking for a playful fun fast and relatively cheap car look no further however if you want practicality and a larger size then the cooper s isn't the car for you but hey practicality it's boring thank you for watching we have some very exciting videos lined up for you in the near future so keep an eye out as you don't want to miss them until next time take care and goodbye